Today on Vix Tips is another twist on cake pops. Little Easter bunnies. Impressive to look at, easy to make. You're gonna have fun with this one. Let me show you how to make them. The first thing you do is make the cake pop recipe. It's simply the recipe on the box, plus a little splash of lemon, just for freshness. If you want more on that, I'll give you a link to the video where I made cake pops. I go into more depth on how to make them. After you've made your cake pop recipe, it's important that it's nice and cold so we can work with it. It's gonna be like your dough. And you remember these little egg guys are from your egg coloring kits. I promised I'd show you another use for them, and this is it. Take your cake pop dough. Now, remember, it's gotta be nice and cold. Mine's actually a little too cold. You know, that thing with me and patience always comes up here and there. And you're gonna to wanna to press it in as far as it'll go up to the first line. Get it in there real good. And you can see, because it's clear, you can see I have a hole right here. So press some more. We got full coverage there. Then it's gonna be a tablespoon packed pretty firmly and not heaping for a little bunny tail. Make a circle. And two quarter teaspoons Make a circle, and press down with your index finger, and pinch in for the bunny feet. Of course, we need two of those. Get round for the bunny tails, and they're gonna go on the thinner side of your egg shape. And, and I've been working with the bunny feet. The best is a little teardrop shape, trying to make them as equal as possible but no bunnies the same, so it's okay. And 40 seconds in the microwave seemed to, seems to have worked real well. I got it nice and hoary, that'll do. You can use a spoon to pour it, but I'm just gonna go ahead and pour it straight on. It'll collect on the bottom. And somebody commented in my video that you can use that stuff, even though you can use that crummy stuff on the bottom, even though it's crummy, you could still you could make more cake pops. It's just cake pops all the time. When that's done, I'm gonna take advantage of this stuff on the bottom. I'm gonna roll my bunny tails in there, get them covered. I think I'm gonna use a toothpick so it's not so messy. It's a messy business. That little guy, he's got a really big tail. While that's setting up, we're gonna make the pink for the little bunny feet. So I'm just gonna pour some of this in here. Now I don't have pink, I only have red, so I'm just gonna go slow with it, a couple dots, because we're really looking for pink. I'm gonna mix that all up in the bag, of course, because I don't want to clean anything. I'm 
Okay, that looks pink. And cut just a little tip off. You can always cut more, but you can't cut less. If it's too big, then you'll just have really big bunny feet. I'll show you what to do in, in case you do that. So I'm gonna start it out a little to make sure I have a good color and I can see how it's coming out. To make the bunny feet, we're gonna make a circle on the top, on the bottom of the little footy foot. And then three little dots for his little toesies. A little decorator tip for you is to have a little bit of water, just a little on your finger and flatten it out and it makes it look more cartoony and smooth. You take a little toothpick and make it the shape that you really like. And you fix any mistakes this way. Just a little bit of water, <laughs> otherwise it'll run and that's no fun. You see, like I have all my toes a little bit too close here. This guy's a little foot. Because every bunny is different. And we'll just fix it. See that? Happy little hoppity mistakes. Pretty. Just like in my other videos, I'm a real fan of these dollar store paper cups. It just hides all the unevenness from the bottom and it gives you a a professional look and hides any kind of thing that's not perfect looks like that <laughs> you put it on the cup on your hand press down with your finger to pull it off like that bunny and I'm just gonna set him down with these little Easter baskets I'll leave that video there for you in case you want to look at that pretty My tip on entertaining is put something special on the table or platter. Just a couple of special touches that you can do. It just makes it look so pretty. You don't have to make, don't go crazy, make one for every person. That'll drive you nuts. Let's taste this little bunny though. I think I'm eating its butt. <laughs> Mmm, oh, so good. Oh, yummy. You gotta, you gotta do this. It's so cute. So easy. I hope you like my video. I sure love making them. I make more cute little videos like this every week. So ring that notification bell. You don't want to miss a thing. I'll see you next time. And get ready for the short. Put it right out there.